Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I got a real treat for you. Today we are flying from Singapore down to Jakarta, Indonesia. Today I'm flying KLM's business class on a 777. It's only an hour and a half, but I couldn't pass up paying only like 7,000, 8,000 points rather than 6,000 points for economy. Let's get tidied up, head to the airport. Let's go. So I knew I arrived early because I was going to check things out, but apparently there's a service. If I go over to the Jewel, I can do an early check-in. So we're going to do that. Now that we got all checked in, make sure you have your declaration customs thing done. There's a QR code at the check-in. I'll leave the link in the description for that below too. You also need a visa. You can do it on arrival or you can do it electronically to get into Indonesia. I'll leave that link in the bottom as well. Now let's go check out what the jewel is for some of y'all that have no clue maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, the rain vortex. Now I must say, I gotta correct myself, the jewel is the name of the building that Rain Vortex sensor. Giant mall filled with shops, entertainment, fun things for the kids and the adults, food, coffee, you name it. You probably can find it in this building to kill time in a long layer. I'm not gonna spend too much time in here, but let's get back into Terminal 1, go through security, see what lounge offer offerings I get because I'm in business class, I get lounge. So this airport has four terminals. They're all pretty massive, but they do come together and connect. Inside or outside security, I believe they all can connect to be of the train. So if you don't get here early enough for early check-in, look at the video board, find your flight, find your row, and get checked in. And then go through security. After a slight passport issue for not scanning, sometimes they do that. I had to go talk to a regular person. But let's go check this airport out. Now I know we all don't have lounge access, and that's totally okay. Here's some dining options, and they're 24 hours too. You just wander through the airport, and I'm sure this airport has amazing choices from probably Western food, Eastern food, you name it. If I understand the dude checking me incorrectly, Mahaba Lounge, I think. I don't know the pronunciation or spelling. I think that's what he said is a lounge that KLM business class passengers get. That looks like it. It's up in the upper level. Let's go see what this lounge has to offer. Upon walking in, you're greeted with quite the drink selection from liquors to coffee to beer. Continuing on further, you've got all the hot food and deliciousness. This lounge is pretty cozy. Has a lot to offer. Comfy seats, lots of seats, tables, you name it. Let's talk about this flight. I don't know what's gonna be served on this plane because it's only barely hour 15, hour and 30, roughly in the air. But business class, I'm in seat 4K today. I believe it's a window. And we're just gonna enjoy this lounge for the next few hours and then we'll board. Two hours later. All right, let's head out. But let me show you what else this airport is known for besides what you saw before I went through security and that's the Jewel. This airport has a lot of interesting things inside the airside security area. Right across from the lounge is the snooze lounge. Just a bunch of lounge chairs that people can first come first serve, jump in, take a snooze, and then carry on. Oh, and fun fact about this airport. No nesting, residing, staying the night in the open areas. This airport will get you and supposedly arrest you if you live in the airport but just letting you know they have these hot meal vending machines everywhere kind of a unique touch that's right ladies and gentlemen you are reading that correctly a swimming pool but it's actually on the roof you can purchase a $25 day pass to go into the hotel swimming pool and jacuzzi and as a pool bar I guess I won't be doing that, unfortunately, because I don't have enough time. But hey, next time I come through, maybe I will. If you wanted to, you could walk to every terminal but four. All this is connected. Go get those steps and work, work those legs. Each terminal has a garden that you can go outside and take a look. Let's go check out this lily garden. 
it's hot as Hades out here. Can be relaxing, I bet. If you're a total airline nerd like me, it's definitely good airplane spotting. And here's another one, a cactus garden. You got a lot to choose from that you can sit and chill and relax. And also another spot you can airplane watch. And to my nerdy luck, I caught my plane landing. If you notice something odd about this plane, it says KLM Asia. And it was founded in 1995 to fly to Taiwan because they wanted to appeal mainland China who considered Taiwan still part of China. It is a subsidiary of KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. If you notice on this plane, there is no crown on the side like normal KLM planes. And they weren't the only ones either. Swiss Air and Air France did this too. Wasn't that an amazing view? This cactus garden is actually pretty sweet for aircraft spotting. You can see runway 20 right, 02 left, whether it's taking off or landing. But let's get to the gate and get through the security. And if some of y'all didn't notice, I didn't go through security earlier. It was just a passport control. So the thing is with Singapore Airport, as long as you're a boarding pass and a passport, you may enter the airport. You don't go through security screening until you go into the gate area to sit down. So let's get through this security and have a seat and look at this plane. The name of this plane was Mount Kilimanjaro. So security was a breeze, piece of cake, your normal stuff. There's my beauty right there. But we're about to board soon, I'm in group one. It's always nice boarding through the first jetway. And stay till the end to see the surprise KLM gives you. Four days? So this cabin was set up in 222 configuration. You don't mind if I do. I'm too shabby. These are the good kind of cabins, none of that middle seat business class. So this is a super short flight, but I'm going to do everything I can to showcase everything available on these seats. There was no welcome champagne on this one, just a glass of water they handed out. Now let's get on with this seat tour. It actually took me a few seconds to figure out where the tray table was. Off to your left, next to your hip. And it was pretty sturdy. Sometimes these styles can be floppy flimsy. Going further back is your literature pocket near your backside. Just the usuals on this one. Sick bag, the KLM magazine, and the safety card. No shopping on this plane, like some other airlines do. Also on your left is the remote, which definitely comes in handy and is needed because the IFE screen is a little too far away. Switching sides now to your right side is the headphones, the headphone jack, the USB port, and a plug. You also have more bed controls and a reading lamp. You do get a pillow and blanket, and I think this pillow has seen better days. And this armrest goes down. The crown may not be on the outside of the plane, but it's definitely on the inside. I must say these seats are very old but comfortable. Something I haven't talked about yet, and that's a fifth freedom route. It allows an airline to carry passengers from one's own country to a second country, and from that country onward to a third country, and so on. 
An example of this is that this plane originated in Amsterdam and flew passengers to Singapore and then continued on to Indonesia. Well, yes, I agree also like to wish you warm welcome on this flight. We would like to explain the safety rules and regulations of Let's have a look at their IFE. Seems like quite the movie selection, TV, and kids. But for me, on this particular flight, I'm headed straight for the world map and flight stats. taking off you can see the many ships waiting to be unloaded or loaded and if you look really close you can see Marina Bay Sands through the haze Which surprises me because Jakarta is further east. So I chose a uh, and you do do a little light to eat. Yeah. The adorable little sandwich. I chose salmon. Let's take a bite and see how it is. I've seen in a long time. Wallpaper of Amsterdam. Seriously, how cool is that? Typical baby changing table. Oh, Kaylin. Now here's the fun part. Hand and body lotion. Nice touch. Something I will never need again, probably. Hair gel. I know everything's backwards in the mirror. And then... Body mist. Last but not least, we gotta check out the bed. But that's okay. That comes in handy. I tell you, it's such a unique feeling whenever they're descending and banking at the same time. 
while you're laying down in your bed. Let's put my seat back up in the upright position. I put behind the wing of the plane and you got some nice colors. Check it out. Jakarta International Airport is the hub to CityLink, Botic Air, Lion Air, and Garuda Indonesia. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the World Business Class KLM. I thank you for joining me. The short and sweet ride, I thought it would go way too quick. Well, it did. But everything they did, great service, great flight. But if you're new to my channel, I'm Matt Markov. Consider subscribing. Hit the like button for me. Share with your friends and family. Here the crew. These are plugs. See you in the next one. And hey, let's have an adventure around the world.